Hi. Hello. We are Play Night Ride and welcome to our booth. Please introduce yourself. Yeah, uh, my name is Serena. I'm uh, the marketing team member. And hi. Hi, I'm Falcon. I'm uh, leading the marketing division and welcome to our booth. Cool. This is a huge display. What's happening here? Oh, here, yeah, yes, you can see here. This uh, Actually, we have three kinds of different micro D solutions, and uh, one of them is uh, Pixel Lab Matrix. This is uh, Pixel Lab Matrix technology. Uh, we we uh, uh, transfer micro D chip onto the PCB backplane and use this way to tile into any kinds of uh, large signage board in any aspect ratio and the customized uh, displays. And like here, you can see this one is. This one is uh, 166. This is the mod modular display. And here's the resolution and the pixel pitch is 0.833. And nice. uh, we use 324 pieces to tile it. Actually, we have uh, different kinds of solutions like 0.43 mm, uh, 0.75 mm. That's all can be customized. Nice. Yeah. And you can see the uh, contrast ratio is really good because for my LED display, the advantage is to be such a large signage board, the uh, black ratio can up to 98%. So the contrast ratio is really good and also the brightness, it can over 2000 nits easily. Nice. Yeah. And That's awesome. So what's happening to, here? Yeah, okay. And this is the AR application this is the second solution for us uh, you can see there this is the this is the panel micro LED display here there's a panel this is, there yeah this is the spake it's 4536 ppi you can see it's full color full hd resolution and the brightness is really really high so you Let get a full, you. full hd and half inch yeah yeah only 0.49 you can and it's very bright point. how yeah. bright does it get uh it can all can around can be around uh 150k 150k nits yeah is it full color yeah and you have to put this in front yeah for protect your eye <laughs> yeah and protect my camera also uh -huh, yes Sensor. <laughs> And this two module is made by this display. Uh, we Im embedded the micro LED display here as the light uh, engine, as the light resource. And it can uh, uh, light to the web guy and reflect back to your eyes. So you got a waveguide going on? Yes, uh, the waveguide is from our partners, but sorry we cannot disclose. <laughs> but you can see these two modules, there's a little bit different. This one is one dimension pupil expansion and the other is two dimension. All right. This one is two dimensions. Let's go jump yeah. in here. So yeah. 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 here. This is the state. The FOV is 48. And you can see the uh, FOV is wider. It's a wider field of view. Yeah, wider field of view. I'm trying to focus on the... Oh, there it is. Yeah. It's not really easy to take a picture. Yeah. <laughs> because the... I found it. Yeah. Huge. Huge display. Yeah. How's the quality of the full color? Uh, the quality, you mean... You, you can uh, do... There are the specs, huh? Yeah. 10, yeah. 4, 24. Yeah, here's the spec. Is it mass production? Yeah, yeah, of course. It's already uh, in mass production? Uh, no, uh, not really, but we have uh, sold to several customers for their evaluation. Evaluation is cool, but I want to yeah. see millions. Um, Everybody should buy it, right? Yeah. How, how far in the future is that? In the future. <laughs> we will say soon. <laughs> soon. But please give, it a, give us a little more time. We are working on it. All right. Yeah. Is, this the, is this the best micro display demonstration? Uh, I won't say best, 
because be. they still have uh, some space to work on to be better. There's always have a way to go better. Nice. Yeah. It'd be interesting to see some uh, awesome applications come out of this. Yes, yes. And maybe so, uh, please, AR, the yeah. AR future. Yeah, so please uh, follow us. We will be better and better. All right. Yeah, and also this way you can see uh, this is our... You can take the video like this. You can see. Wow. It oh. seems to be invisible display. Wow. Uh, think about in the in the future, uh, the display can will be invisible. So there's a tr transparent display. Yeah, yeah, transparent. transparent of another display. Yeah. So there are so many different kinds of applications you can imagine in the future. Hey, shark. Hello. Uh, yeah, shark. Wow. wow. It, <laughs> it will right. jump to the the front screen. All right. 1960 by 1480. Also, sell to customers. Uh, so you've been busy the last three years, right? Yes. Uh, just a lot of ha things happening. Yes. So many things uh, come to um, uh, small volume mass production, and also like this way, you can see. Yeah. And this oh, is the transparent yeah. display and with touch function, and you can see here the ambient light is so bright, but you can still see clear picture of our display. You can see here, I showcase the the uh, animation here, but you can still see the background. You can still see the deer, the the decoration. And that's only because it's micro LED and it's very bright, or yeah, that's so bright. It can be one thousand nits easily, and even the peak high is three thousand nits. What do you say, thirty-three? Oh, three thousand nits. Three thousand nits. Yeah, the peak high can be that high. Nice. Oh, okay, and you can see this one. This is a high yield ray. A transparent display. You can see the color, no matter the color, the brightness, or the uh, contrast ratio, it's so good. This is our latest version, and we are going to use it as uh, to go to mass production. Nice. Mass production. Yeah. How soon? Yeah. Uh, we are going to. This is pretty close. Pretty close. We, we are we are doing now. All right. Yeah. Let me go around here. Yeah. And also uh, here. Yeah. Oh, let me. There, there. And okay. And also here, this is a wall of wearable watch. Yeah. And uh, uh, micro LED smartwatch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, not only we we can produce. Uh, we have the technology not only RGB, also quantum dot. So some of the watches is made by quantum dot technology. So you can see it's it's HDR. So HDR micro LED smartwatch. Yes, you can see the spec here. If I wear this, I'll be the I'll be the the star of the show. Yeah. And there we have HDR micro LED smartwatch display. Yeah. 256, 256. Yeah. 24 bit. Yes. Uh, so just to get even nicer colors. Yes. The color gamma is 120. And one thing I guess is maybe it's gonna allow for extra brightness compared to yeah, yeah, yeah. other smartwatches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The brightness can up to uh, 4,000 nits, the peak height. Nice. Yeah, and also uh, you can see here uh, we can we, the you can get closer to our display. This is also be tiled, like what you just take the the video. This is that one is that kind of blue watering waterfall, starring waterfall, and this one is another peach size is 0.75 mm, and you can see closer the it's almost same that. And the contrast ratio is really high, almost unlimited. And the color and the brightness, that's all perfect. <laughs> nice. And here you can see we uh, the display can be any kinds of uh, different type, even like a cube. Wow. And it can be like a figure to put your maybe several images, photo album into this kind of cube. I want the cube like this. Yeah. 
So, um, a lot of your technology is coming to mass production, mass yes. mass market. Yes. How, what is a challenge to bring something to mass production? Yeah. How, it needs a huge factory. Yeah, I think that for the production, it takes time, uh, step by step. Because in the beginning, uh, it's a new technology. So when we start, just like already before, so the beginning time, at the beginning stage, everything may be expensive because there's it's not uh, with a rolling scale. And so the, so that's why the first uh, micro -D product will be the TV with very uh, a luxury TV. After that, because it started production, then people, we can get better experience for the yield and also get the, uh, make the volume become bigger. With a bigger volume, the cost will be reduced and then it can penetrate to other market. So we are also talking to the automotive and the wearable and in the future we'll go for the other applications uh, like signage or also maybe for the monitor and even go for the mobile devices. Uh, when you make a huge factory, do you need to partner with a, or who's going to make it? Okay. How the, do you make it? Who's going to, where, okay, and where it, is going to make it? Okay, so Serena already introduced that. Uh, there are different, using different backplant technology, PCB, TFT, silicon. So the business model will be different. So for PCB, uh, maybe we will have do the uh, business by ourselves and we can sell either the uh, PCB module or we can sell the whole system. It depends on our customer's requirement. And for TFT, that needs the TFT makers, their help. So we work with TFT makers to produce for the TFTs, uh, for like, for example, like transparent displays and also others like um, wearable displays. These are using TFT-based uh, technology. And then for silicon-based technology, then that also work with partners. They design the, the design house, design the backpack, and plan I try we do the transfer the micro, uh, make the micro ID transfer onto this display and make this uh, tiny display with high, very high resolutions, and send to, and to our customer to make the real AR glasses. So, for example, I got uh, one comment here. It says, uh, can those plain I tried micro LED displays work in something like Vuzix glasses? So potentially it could be some partner, this or that, that could make an uh, end product. And hopefully soon, that people can buy. Yes. Uh, as I said, the first uh, TV, micro LED TV from Samsung, it's already, they are already selling in the market. Uh, of course, that maybe the price is high. And then uh, I think AUO already announced they will have uh, shipped the micro LED uh, wearable devices to their customer. And this year, you can buy a watch, a micro LED watch. And then uh, for the automotive, because uh, everyone knows automotive, automotive takes longer time for uh, verification because we need to make sure the safety and everything. To, so this takes longer time, but we believe like 2026, 20, 2027, 20, then you can have a car with micro LED display. There's a comment um, that says, that transparent display is good for automotive application. Yeah. yeah, actually that's the first uh, the, the, the demo when we bring to these uh, car makers. They get very uh, interested in this uh, technology. So it's a very good, of course, the. You, we know there's already uh, in the wi uh, windshield or the window, there's, it's transparent, but there's not, no display there. So, of course, this is one of the idea to use the micro uh, transparent display, a uh, micro ID. But in the future, as I know, for the, uh, in the future, the, the, it will be the autopilot uh, cars, and the whole the interior design, or cop copy design will be different. So transparent can help them to enable other ideas uh, to maybe in like five years later, the car will all look different. In five years, I want to call an Uber where I can decide to pay without ads. And if I, if I want to have a free ride, boom, they'll be advertising on my window the whole way. But it'll be for free. Maybe, but it depends. I don't like ads, so, okay, so you maybe can, something maybe, else. Yeah, maybe you can choose, and also some entertainment, and also maybe the car looks like uh, the more like in the movie, not like yeah. how we. How so we if know you don't right pay now. for the Uber, there's ad. 
But if you pay for it, you can watch Netflix. You can watch whatever yeah. you want. Yeah, that sounds better for me. Yeah. <laughs> so you make it ready. I'm just talking. I'm just a YouTuber. But you can, <laughs> no, you we, can work with a car company. They just yeah, come here and say, okay, uh, the car is coming in uh, 2026. And we want to have 3 million pieces. Or yeah, something. that's uh, we're working now. So, but maybe everything is possible. Yeah, but maybe not three million in the beginning because that they, they were uh, for the car makers. They were introduced a new technology for their high-end model first, and then penetrate to to the, the older models. So maybe everyone can have this kind of the, the cars design in within ten years. So or or say twenty maybe say the twenty thirty. Uh, at that time, every car, all, most of car need to trans. Uh, become the uh, EV car. So then combined with microRD together, microRD also can help to saving the power. So it's uh, good for the EV cars also. I love Display Week. It's, uh, it's the coolest conference and all these displays are so amazing. But I don't want to wait 10 years. I want to have this stuff like, you know, one yeah. or two years is okay. Is it okay if I say that? Well, <laughs> it's possible. Is there any way to speed things up? Maybe somebody comes and say, I have a lot of money, I don't know what to do with it. Like, and That's then you just great. Say, oh, That's I can bring great. this to yeah. market yes. in one year. Yeah, because uh, now there's no, as I said, the scale is not enough. So everyone, the, every material, every component, they say, oh, you don't have enough uh, scale, so we need to sell you very expensive for our materials vendors, our uh, equipment vendors. And then, so more like, a, it's a more like a, volume or say chicken and egg you you need to invest to get a high a big volume and then and then big volume can get it uh, cheaper but you it cannot start very soon in the beginning so of course if there's someone has a lot of money and they he can afford it to speed up this maybe two years then everyone can have my priority that's also my hope some of these companies over there are very very big uh, uh i'm talking samsung lg uh BOE and all that. Mm -hmm. What is your role? How big you're gonna be? Are you gonna be the next, the next uh, mm -hmm. giant billion, multi-billion dollar company? Who, uh, are you? Uh, do people Not come here? The specialists who are here, do they come to play nitride and say, "Oh, you're the best, you're the leader," in a bunch of things? Sure. The, for the micro ID, we're the leader, and I can say, the most. I think some of the uh, their booths. Their demonstration, the micro ID is from Plan i -Tri, and also the transfer is made by Plan i -Tri. So we are the leading company for the micro ID, including the chip and also the transfer, all the techno key technologies of micro ID. And we are not sure if we become a giant in the future or not. That it depends on the market uh, change, change and all the positions of, for, for everyone. But we want to be the best uh, technology provider for micro ID and um, to give everyone the best uh, viewing experience. The way you transfer, is that the future or there's some people suggesting different ways to do? Uh, still, there's lots of differ uh, different transfer technologies. But for us, we won't say uh, only one transfer technology is the best because, for example, to transfer the micro display is 45 100 PPI, you need one kind of transfer trans, uh, transfer technology. And for PCB and for TFT, the the back plan and also the uh, their tech, uh, PPI, pixel densities, they are all different. So we will use different uh, mass transfer technologies for different back plan or different applications. And the quantum dot, it's great partnership to have. Or yeah, we have very good partners who help us to build up the uh, using the quantum dot color, color color conversion. So quantum dot is also a solution for micro ID because the quantum dot can provide uh, even better color gamut, and also it can help to uh, uh, help to help the some of the like red color micro IDs because the micro ID red. Is using one material, uh, using one kind of material, and green and blue is another uh, uh, material category. So, so, for us, if with two different materials, it maybe also takes more times for for the uh, process and the integrations. So, quantum dot can help some some of technology, and also for the micro displays, 
uh, very, very tiny uh, displays. Quantum dot also play a very important role. So it can we can have one small display uh, to make a full, uh, become full color. Is there printing? Well, depends on the pixel density because uh, printing there are some limitations. So we can use printing or photo lithographies. Just depends on the displays uh, pixel density and their. Application. So you can work with that too. Yes. All right. So you are compatible with many companies here. You're working with them, yeah, and well, they're talking yes. with you. Yes, so, and then so we think all everyone is our partner, and we want everyone to join for to, to develop micro LED, so maybe it can help uh, to grow the micro, the micro LED, uh, business very fast. Not all, just one company, Planet right? Yes, we believe we work very hard for micro LED, and we, but we believe we are the best uh, for the technologies, but with just a small company. If we want to make micro LED affordable for everyone, I believe everyone should join to, deep, to work for the micro LED. Uh, how expensive is it to make low volume 4x3 aspect ratio displays for retro gaming on those micro LED displays compared to LCD, which is stuck on 16 by 9 Wow, it's very it's specific question. question. Uh, it's hard to answer right now, but we just give you a reference. Uh, the Samsung, the wall micro D T V is roughly a hundred inch, and the, set, the price is about uh, so, uh, ten, one hundred thousand US dollar. Okay, one hundred thousand, but you're talking about some huge. Huge micro LED. Yes. Yeah. yes. I was just so, talking about a little micro LED for video game machine or something. I'm not sure. Yeah, but, but, talk about. Yeah, but, uh, but now it's expensive. I, I just want to say it's kind of expensive now. So we don't yeah. know what will be the real uh, price for or for that kind of spec. It need to be real uh, to do, do the feasibility and do the real details calculations. But if will be much higher than LCD right now. It, but we, for our, from our roadmap, we will drop the cost 50% uh, year to year. So and YOY, 50% cost reduction. All right, so in five, five, six years, it will be nearly free. I'm joking, it'll be cheaper, hopefully. Mm, and how yeah, hopefully. Hmm. And how about the, somebody's asking 0.43 millimeter micro LED. Uh, can it scale to TV size? I don't yes. Know which, yeah. Yes, of course. Actually, our demonstration was TV uh, uh, two years ago, in, uh, but unfortunately, that uh, demonstration only in Taiwan. So, uh, point, uh, 0 0.43, the pitch actually did it's the same as 75 inch 4K. So we just need more uh, more modules and tied into a bigger size. So it's already the TVs. Uh, Pixel pitch. So you're working uh, with the Americans, with the Koreans, and the Chinese. We everybody? work. We work with worldwide. Everyone in the world who is working for the display, uh, or who are interested in the display, it, no matter the the panel makers, the car makers, the or the different uh, system makers, everyone. And one thing I like to always kind of figure out is because there's eight billion people in the world. And uh, not everybody is so lucky to have hundred thousand dollar for it. Sure. But how soon is it possible that micro LED will maybe help to make things cheaper, like you know, affordable mm. for everybody in the world? It depends on the ecosystems. For us, of course, we hope it can be very soon. But uh, depends on like uh, panel makers. Depends on these brands how fast they introduce this technology. Because as I, as I said, it increased the volume, increased the, this kind of uh, the market size, the cost can be lower. Just like we see what we see the LCD. In the beginning, several years, the, the, it grows very slowly. But someday, just boom, the cold LCD cost drop super fast. And everyone's joined, and, and then more and more people can, uh, can, it can be affordable. That's, what how was uh, happened for LCD? So uh, micro LED, if we want to the same thing happen, I believe more more and more people or more and more companies join, that can help. 
Cool. All right. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks very much to ZXS to be one of my sponsors here at the Display Week 2023. ZXS is based in Shenzhen and I will be doing a video very soon with them featuring their transparent displays, OLED, LCD light box ads machine. So thanks a lot. I did video with them nearly 10 years ago when they were doing tablets and now they do these cool devices. Thanks a lot for watching. Check them out.